Hey guys and welcome to the ultimate flagship battery drain test. We have the best of Huawei, the best of Apple, the best of Samsung, and the best of Google. These phones are the top four, you can say, the best phones of this year. And it's gonna be interesting to see which one will take the ultimate battery drain test championship title. So, so in case you're new here, here are the rules of the battery drain test. So these are the stages and the stuff that we're gonna perform. And things will be slightly different here in this test because now I have changed the display resolution to Quad HD on all the phones. The only connection we have is the Wi-Fi network. The brightness has been set to an optimal level. And I've also set the display to Quad HD on the Galaxy Note 9 and on the Huawei Mate 20 Pro because these two phones are also running on 1440p. So this is going to be an all-out equal comparison as far as the resolution goes. All right, time to disconnect the cables. And the test is now officially started. As you can see, I have the timer phone here running. Kick back, relax, and as always, I'm gonna see you guys on the other side. For the first time, we have an iPhone as the winner. The iPhone XS Max with the smallest battery size managed to beat all of these three best phones. It is currently at 3% battery and I have to say Apple has done an amazing job uh, with the Dennis Max when it comes to battery life. So here are the battery timings. As you can see, the Pixel 3 XL was the first one to die. Uh, the score is definitely a little bit improved compared to the Pixel 2 XL, but not much of an improvement I would say. The Huawei Mate 20 Pro, I honestly thought that this phone would easily win this test. I mean, seven nanometer chip and a 4,200 mAh battery, but it wasn't enough to beat the iPhone. The iPhone is the superior seven nanometer battery phone by just 3%, not much of a difference, but still a win is a win. The iPhone XS Max proved that with a 3,100 mAh battery size, it can defeat the phones with the battery size above 4,000. That is incredible. The Galaxy Note 9 did really well. It came in second and it was really close to the iPhone XS Max, but it defeated the Huawei Mate 20 Pro uh, despite having the uh, smaller battery size, a little bit smaller, as well as a 10 nanometer chipset. So I'm interested to see uh, what Samsung will bring with their seven nanometer Exynos processor. Probably things will get even better. So yeah, that's all we have with this battery drain test. The iPhone XS Max wins. Uh, the Galaxy Note 9 comes to the second position, then A20 Pro, and then the Pixel 3 XL. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.